I'm a learning. You're about to. Specification point 1.1. 1. 1. Explain how the subcellular structures of eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells are related to their functions, including animal cells, plant cells, and bacterial cells. To successfully answer any GCSE question linked to this specification point, you will need to be able to label animal, plant, bacterial cells organelles and also describe the functions of these organelles. The most challenging questions linked to this specification point will be comparative questions, where you will be asked to write down the similarities and differences between different types of cells. Plant and animal cells are examples of eukaryotic cells. This means that their genetic information, DNA, is stored within a membrane-bound nucleus. Bacteria is a prokaryotic cell. This means its genetic information is not stored in a membrane-bound nucleus. Prokaryotic cells do not have membrane-bound organelles. Important from an examination perspective, it is important that you know the following. The fact that a eukaryotic cell has a nucleus. And a prokaryotic cell has genetic material that floats around in the cytoplasm. In other words, not within the nucleus. The prokaryotic cell usually has a plasmid and a chromosomal loop of DNA. In addition to this, it is important that you know that the prokaryotic cell is much smaller than the eukaryotic cell. In fact, bacterial cells, which are an example of a prokaryotic cell, is around the size of mitochondria and chloroplasts. In exams, you may be asked to label a bacterial cell or describe the function of its organelles. It is therefore important that you understand that the slime capsule and the cell wall protect the cell. The flagella brings about movement, which means that if a bacterial cell does not have flagella, it will not be motile, it will not move. The plasmid is a small section of DNA that codes for smaller proteins. The genetic material, which is also codes for the larger proteins and generally controls the cell. The plasmid and genetic material, as previously explained, float around in the cytoplasm and are not within a membrane-bound nucleus. The ribosome is where protein synthesis occurs. Animal cells and plant cells, which are eukaryotic cells, also have ribosomes. However, it is important to remember that the bacterial ribosome, although it has the same function, is much smaller. In an exam, you may be asked to label an animal cell and describe the functions of its organelles. As you can see, the large black circle is the nucleus. It controls the cell. The cell membrane controls what enters and leaves the cell. The cytoplasm is where chemical reactions occur. This is where you would find the mitochondria and ribosomes. The mitochondria is where respiration occurs. This is an important process that must be properly understood and will be covered in more detail in topic 8. Finally, the animal cell has ribosomes, which is needed for protein synthesis. The bacterial cell also has a ribosome, which is used for protein synthesis. However, it is much smaller. In exams, you will need to know how to label a plant cell and describe the function of its organelles. So let's start with the organelles that are also found within the animal cell. The nucleus controls the cell. The cell membrane controls what goes in and out of the cell. The cytoplasm is where the chemical reactions occur. This is where you would find the ribosomes and the mitochondria. The mitochondria is where respiration occurs. This is an important topic and will be covered in more detail in topic 8. And finally, the ribosome, where protein synthesis occurs. The plant cell also has three additional organelles that are not found in animal cells. The cell wall, which strengthens the cell. The chloroplast, where photosynthesis occurs. And again, this is a very important topic that will be covered in more detail in topic 6. And finally, it has a vacuole, which contains the cell sap. The cell sap is a weak solution of salts and sugars. Alongside questions where you'll be asked to label and describe the functions of organelles, you will be asked questions like this. What are the similarities and differences between animal and plant cells? The question might be worded in a straightforward manner, as it is here. Or, 
they may ask you to compare and contrast, which means looking for the similarities and differences between two things. The answer must relate to both things mentioned in the question. The answer must include at least one similarity and one difference. This means to get the marks, you must mention one way in which animal and plant cells are the same, and one way in which animal and plant cells are different. The following would be correct answers for similarities. They are both eukaryotic cells, or both have a nucleus, cell membrane, mitochondria, cytoplasm and ribosomes. The following would be a correct answer for differences. Plant cells have cell walls, vacuoles and chloroplasts. Alongside questions where you'll be asked to label and describe the functions of organelles, you will be asked questions like this. What are the similarities and differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells? The question might be worded in a straightforward manner, as it is here, or they may ask you to compare and contrast, which means looking for the similarities and differences between two things. The answer must relate to both things mentioned in the question. The answer must include at least one similarity and one difference. This means to get the marks you must mention one way in which prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells are the same and one way in which prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells are different. The following would be a correct answer for similarities. Both have a cell membrane, ribosomes and cytoplasm. The following would be correct answers for differences. Prokaryotic cells are smaller. Prokaryotic cells do not have their DNA enclosed in a nucleus while eukaryotic cells do. Prokaryotic cells can have slime capsules and flagellum. Prokaryotic cells do not have mitochondria. Our animations were designed by experienced UK trained teachers. We have been achieving amongst the best results in the country for many years and we decided it was time to share our success. Have you just amled and want to amle some more? Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to keep yourself up to date with the latest uploads. Am I learning? You just did.